Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 8 with me, Full Symmetry, and today I got a bunch of stuff done before the video yet again. I know, crazy right, who'd have thought? Me, more digging? No, that would be weird, wouldn't it? No, I did, I did more digging, guys, I know. Uh, really strange, but uh, there was more digging to be done in the main base area that I'm currently in. So I dug a bit more of a hole, doesn't quite go down to bedrock, but uh, I guess we'll see. But uh, there is the hole I'm digging. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, work in progress. But yeah, that's what I've been up to. And also, I did a little bit of work. The camera work isn't so great here. But I basically built a river because I asked you guys whether or not I should connect all the rivers up in my base. And you guys loved the idea in the comments. So that is what I've been working on too. I'll show you actually right now. Because as you can see here, we didn't have this one going anywhere. But uh, there's no uh, beacon reaching this part. Which is why this part is not dug out as much. But this part over here, you can really see this is going to be an underground river. I'm going to definitely probably add some leaves as decoration. But if we go all the way to the other end here, you'll see that it comes out in my main base area. In the sort of big hole kind of area. And this is the ravine kind of thing that is pretty natural. Uh, yeah, you can see it's pretty natural down there. But it's going to be filled with water eventually. So uh, once I do that, which I'll probably do at some point during this episode, you'll see water appear here. Um, yeah, that's going to hopefully look pretty cool. And I fell down the hole. See, this is why you shouldn't dig holes in your base, guys. Learn from my mistakes. But I got a lot of good feedback about my storage room over here. Now, as you can see, I've started filling it up. There's chocolate boxes full of stuff still. But a lot of it, if not most of it, is in those chests over there. And I've been really liking. Ooh, that's the first zombie I've seen up there, which is... Interesting, because actually all of that up there is carpeted, so it shouldn't really spawn, but obviously I missed that little uh, little shelf down there, so I'll have to do some more carpeting at some point. But this has really inspired me to continue this idea, and I've got a second sort of circular area in here that I'm going to work on. So I'm going to bring a lot of the aspects from this one, make it a little bit different, but definitely use this. I really love this idea here these sort of big tree trunks and a lot of people wanted me to build these up and over and I think I might I think I might make big giant trees coming out of the top so uh definitely uh stick around for that but this one there's a bit of a glass area for the ravine and uh, I think I'm just gonna make a very very small little smeltery area but I'm gonna really concentrate more so on the decorative aspect but first a quick message from our sponsor today Monster Legends Monster Legends is a free-to-play monster battling game available on both Android and iOS. You can collect monsters, choose different skill sets, and level up your collection to help you take on your opponents. You'll start off with a simple island for you and your monsters, which will then build up and expand. Monsters have six different rarities and elements which make them either stronger or weaker against your opponents, so definitely be careful of that. The best part of this game has got to be breeding these monsters together as different elements combined can make some crazy combinations. There are over 800 monsters to collect in total. You've even got the opportunity to collect some of your big name YouTubers such as Dream, Mr. Beast, and more. Plus there are new events every week to discover so you and your monsters never get bored. And if you're as competitive with games like this as I am, you'll love various PvP modes where you can conquer adventure maps, explore dungeons, and even fight your friends in real time. Download Monster Legends today using my link in the description and get a $30 package for free. But it's only available until September 26th. This includes 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, and 10 gems. Oh, and you get a free monster too. So get there quick. Thanks again to Monster Legends for supporting today's episode. So let's get back to it. And with that, I decided to basically start a time lapse of me building this thing because it isn't super crazy detailed. But what you'll see next is me expanding this even further with the trees, like I mentioned earlier. But yeah, these look really, really great. I wanted to uh, have these maybe as the giant trees. I'm not sure, but I, I feel like it kind of makes sense that leaves could be down here too. Maybe it's like moss that's overgrown. I'm not sure. But I also decided to try and make this a little darker over here also because i think overall it's going to look a lot better because my end goal is for everything to look a little dark in places uh so i'm gonna have carpet um to make sort of dark areas around here i'm gonna obviously add lanterns and then of course probably more more carpet and there's gonna be water here so yeah i basically want as many areas non-spawnable as possible and you can also already see that like most of it's non-spawnable. There was a spawn over here earlier today, so I'm going to put a torch there. But overall, 
it's pretty uh it's pretty non-spawnable for now i mean most of it's because of the torches but yeah Ooh, where does that go oh no that's gonna be the river oh the river's even gonna flow through that <gasps> it's gonna be so pretty in fact you know what i feel like doing the river right now and taking a look so uh brb now because i've done the river and it looks really nice from over here looks so cool uh there's even a little waterfall within a waterfall there's a waterfall there and then that has to go down there and i thought yeah be kind of cool if that just vanishes off into the distance potentially hooks up to something else i don't know uh i think that right now all of my like farm stuff is down that tunnel so that side hooks up to it so it's no i guess eventually maybe that side will hook up to this end maybe this pathway who knows anyway i'm hoping maybe to do a loop the loop of my whole base with this river it would be kind of cool um but in fact you know what i feel like testing it out really quick with a, a boat so let me go grab one and we will see look how organized everything is uh see what it's like so i think what i'll do is start perhaps yeah let's start here yeah here because this is the only way we can really go right now so this is nice you know you come into this big room I might have to make that waterfall a little bit smaller so you can get past it. But, oh, when there's some leaves and extra stuff down here, it's going to be kind of cool. Oh, yeah, and, I, and I've done this. Oh, also, I've worked out you can go back up waterfalls if you put bubble elevators there. So, I guess that's a project for a stream. And I only go to here right now because, again, like I say, my beacon doesn't reach over here. So, I can't finish this little tiny sliver. I really need to move my beacon or something. But, anyway, oh, I'm even just going to boat back because, oh, no, I can't because that happens i need to install the bubble elevators otherwise i get kind of stuck and either i have to walk that way or try and fly awkwardly this way well it's not perfect yet guys okay just 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 shoot just you wait but that has now inspired me to add like a moss pathway here i already started digging it out because i wanted to mark where it was gonna be and yeah i just want to add a little bit more with the greenery here oh and i might I was planning on having water come out of the side of that path down to here and potentially make this a river too because this also hooks up to here so more water i say i guess <laughs> and let's hope it looks good because who knows well a bunch of work later i've made a pathway i've tried making it quite dark down there with the uh carpet i guess i'm probably gonna get rid of some lighting just so it's not too too bright i really want there to be like differences between the, the light and dark you know i want there to be dark 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 spots i think because if it go all the way up here looking down oh look at that like look at all of that do i have a couple of prismarine blocks um maybe basically i will change it up add some more stuff but i'm happy for this for right now so let's work up there a little bit but after uh, i've worked with zuma because i guess he needs some of these so it turns out zuma actually didn't need any but that's uh all good because that meant i could just get on with this tree now i did record the uh, log part but it wasn't very interesting but this leaf part looks pretty cool so i basically wanted to try and trace the shape of a tree around these two branches that i made and generally speaking i'm quite happy with it it's not the worst thing in the world question is do i make another tree my plan was to do two but obviously this covers quite a bit of the uh like i guess the dome area so uh do i build another that is the one i've built uh, i'm gonna mess around with the lighting and stuff i think there are some torches in here that i don't really want um but oh in fact i can't actually really get out of here and oh, no, i can we're, we're all good but yeah uh what do you think do i want another one around this sort of area here I feel like the, the, the canopy will block quite a lot of uh, down here. I, I, I actually can't decide, but I think I need some lanterns hanging out of this tree here. So let me grab some of that stuff and uh, do just that, because I think that would look kind of cool. Maybe hanging from some chains? Yeah, that's going to be good. Smell tree area done. Giant tree done. What's next, you're thinking? Well, I have the project that I think I spoke about previously in here. I really, really, really need to block up my redstone here because... Ooh, 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 I didn't show you. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. My redstone is just amazing. I need... I think B-Dubs needs to hire me. I think B-Dubs needs to hire me. He's got a redstone shop, right? <laughs> I can do that. That, that's about it though it's my limit anyway i want this to be my uh bulk storage area because uh if you don't already know 
I have a temporary bulk storage area all the way underneath my starter house over in here. Now, I'm probably not going to move all of it. I'm going to probably leave some under here just because it's a nice area. I can tell people, you know, if they need any bulk stone or whatever, they can just come here. I, yes, I have a shop, but, you know, they need loads like Scar did the other day. Then, uh, yeah, this is the place. But, oh, there you go. Um... Yeah, I do want to move some of this stuff just so that I, you know, have the excess. Mostly so I have a load of blank ch Oh, see, I can stock my shop with this. See, if I hadn't come here, I wouldn't have known that. That's perfect. That'll save me get gathering up some amethyst, I guess. Basically, yeah, I need some, like, spare chests so that when I do do a dig or whatever, I can just chuck them in my base rather than all the way over here again. So... Yeah, uh, I guess let's start that project and uh, I think we're going to keep it quite simple but maybe do some decorating. I think I'm just going to put uh, chests on this wall, this wall and this wall. I dug out this sort of area and I kind of like the idea of doing like a glass, like maybe three layers of glass, one, two and three and maybe having like an overgrown tree through it. I don't know. I don't know. That, that was what was in my brain. We're going to give it a go and... Uh, yeah, let's get going. And I do need some glass because of this, though. Problem is, I have to fly over here every time I want to get some glass or anything I'm smelting. So, any ideas of how I get from there to here a little easier? Maybe another pathway, but is there is there a better option? And here's the room. I think it's looking kind of, I mean, kind of bland, I'll be honest. But the roof's looking that nice. It, it sort of, maybe. Uh, I, I found that with these guys, they don't really, um, you don't really get too much of the uh, blossom coming off of them if they are behind glass. So I've ended up having three or four up there, but uh, it also looks like a mist block. No, I think I've got that in place of the glass. It doesn't look great. Anyway. This is just meant to be one of those little rooms you just don't even look at, you don't even really see, but I wanted it to have a theme, and I wanted it to be locked away. I don't know what this is. Mm, what did I put that item frame there for? I'm not sure. But these are basically going to be like stone, stone, cobblestone, cobblestone, that kind of stuff. Like, you know, I didn't want to put um, iron frames on every little bit, because I, I think item frames are a little bit laggy if you put too many, so I didn't really want to, you know, excess... Uh, my storage area. I say that, I'm sure this area is way smaller and probably way less complicated than a lot of Hermit's storage. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm very, very happy with this. I've got, like, a lot done. One, two, three projects done in this whole place. And I've even got some cocoa beans growing, which I couldn't do because I literally didn't have the log. So I had to head over to, uh, Ren's shop, which is lovely, by the way. But yeah, I'm looking forward to continuing this theme throughout maybe digging that out a little bit more and obviously i guess th doing the other half of this we've like almost completed half of this base and the other half hmm i'm not sure exactly to put up there yet get guys get to the comments and let me know what i should build up there because i'm really not that certain to be honest with you makes sense to have a furnace area it makes sense to have a storage room i've got a little temporary bed area so i could make one of those a bed area but what, what do i do with over there it's almost separated into two. Maybe some small farms? Maybe an area to grow flowers? Mm, I don't know. Guys, get to the comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and definitely check out Monster Legends. The link is in the description below. And make sure to collect your free reward before it's gone on September 26th. Thanks to you guys and Monster Legends for the support. Catch you guys in the next episode. See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.